Hello everyone, come on in, Sis Bell, and I'll teach you how to make fried bologna sandwiches. Not just ordinary fried bologna sandwiches. These are special. They have these. Look at this. I went to that restaurant and I bought those fried green maters that I was talking about. That, Cause I can make fried green maters but they ain't nothing like that. And I'm gonna put them on my fried bologna sandwich. And the bologna is from the deli, it's thick. Fry it up, put, put it on Texas toast. With, uh, I'm gonna butter it, put it in the oven just to brown that a little to make it good. And then we'll put Dijon mustard on it. There's my butter. Then you also top it off with provolone cheese. Now, if you wanna talk about some good eating, if you've ever eaten a, a fry bologna sandwich, you know they're good. Anyhow, they're good with mater. But with a fried green tomato like this, and with that mustard and uh, oh, that provolone cheese, it is wonderful. And I want to show you how to do that. Because you're going to thank me, and you're going to love it. And it's uh, one sandwich is just a, a meal full, I'm telling you. Wait a minute and I'll have it started up for you. I wanted to show you this before I forgot. Danny's been canning tomatoes, look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? Now, he did those in the oven. After he got them prepared and ready, put in the jars, all you gotta do is put them in the oven at 200, he used about 220 actually. For about an hour, you turn the oven off, then, you leave it all night, so every how many hours if you do it early in the morning. By evening time, you can take them out. And then, see, they're sealed. They're sealed and they're beautiful. And they're going to taste so good this winter. Didn't have any soft butter, so what I'm going to do is just, I melted me a part of a stick. And I'm going to put it on my bread. So that's just the easiest way to do it. If you don't have any soft butter, you can uh, lather on there. You'll just do that and put a little bit. Super simple. This is a very simple recipe because it is a sandwich, but it uh, is fancier and better than just your simple old sandwich. So uh, I gotta get this ready before I can do anything. I'm gonna put that on roll on low, low, I guess, a little while. And when I get it done, I mean, you know, that's, we got to have that butter on there for it to be a good sandwich. It's going to be delicious. Okay, looky here. See, it was real thick bologna. See how thick it is? He loves thick bologna. He loves fried bologna sandwiches. And I like them too. And these are so good with those green tomatoes on them. We got to my, my pan wants to rock and roll. That's okay, I reckon. I use them to death, so I guess that's okay. We're gonna get a little bit of a brown on them. There's my head. We're gonna get a little bit of a brown on them. Here. We're gonna get a little bit of a brown to them, just a little bit, you know. Warm them up real good. And then we're going to put that tomato on there and that provolone cheese and Dijon mustard. And then we'll do a good old taste test. I like to brown them up pretty good. I don't, I don't like them. They're not raw ever, but I like to have a little brown to them. Makes them taste better to me. Looks good right there, do This will be just about right, right here. That'll be just about right. There goes my provolone cheese. And that will be, oh, that'll be good. That'll melt real good. 
Oh, that's going to be great. Okay. See my toast? Looks good, don't it? All buttered up now. Texas toast. Now I'm going to flip them over. Half of them. I'm going to put some Dijon mustard on. A little bit, you know. I'm OCD, so I will have to smooth it out a little bit. Can't stand it if I don't. Anybody that's OCD does understand. I don't know. It can be most aggravating sometimes. But at least all my mustard's going to be everywhere. So, anyway, now I'm going to put that bologna. Let me get it. Look here. I'm going to put this bologna and cheese on top of that. Woo! Come on. Don't fold up on me. Now, this one, this one. Oh boy. Now I got to put my tomatoes on there. That's going to be great. And clean this off. Okay. Let's see if we can do this. Yes, we can do this. Okay. You see them? Boy, they're so good. I'll get one down in the bottom because it's a little, it'll be a little warmer. Since I had to bring them a long way, you know, they get cold on me. That won't be good. Maybe if I do this right here and fold it over. It'll warm it back up just enough. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Okay, I ain't had one of these in a long time either. I used to eat them a lot, and then I don't know if you get burned out on stuff or whether you just get too lazy to make them. Well, I hadn't had any deli uh, bologna, so so I guess that's why I done that. I hadn't had none in a while. We could cut them in half. I think that's what we're gonna do, like this, cause that's a big mouthful. I've got a big mouth, but sometimes them sandwiches don't fit in there too good. So, Danny's gonna have to hurry get home. He's missing out. I'm gonna go ahead and slice them while I'm at it so that he'll be ready to eat when he gets back. So anyway, I gotta go to do that good old taste test. Now, let's show you. You see this? Oh, that's good stuff. It's so good. You're gonna love it. Uh, I mean, it's just, open it up here. You see that? That fried green mater in there? Now, I'm talking. Wait, just wait for that good old taste test. Here we go. Yes, that is wonderful. You're going to enjoy it. I really believe you will. If you like fried bologna sandwiches, if you've never had one, you need to give it a go. I'm Country Sherry at Country Sherry 23. And if you enjoy my recipes, my muses and all of that, I'd appreciate it if you come back and see me. And if you would subscribe and like, and I wish you'd give me some comments because I like to answer you back and I like to hear what you got to say. And I'll see you all next time.